one round. I love it. So now you start thinking now, when you come, you start thinking, how many people do I have? They, they're thinking about a social count. They don't think of, they don't, there's no associate count. There's no associate count. Why you don't need, why do you need associate account if, if, if you're not thinking passive income? What else? You're always, you're always worried about your internal cash flow. Okay, you worry, oh, you're, so you worry about your personal cash flow? Yes. Well, because there's really no team. Okay, so there is worry here teams. too. But uh -huh. the worry is what? Worry about team cash flow. Uh -huh. <laughs> So not, not worry, but I mean you're you're thinking, how many people in my team are making money? Yeah. And, and like I'm saying in the personal income too, you're always thinking about quitting. Like man, I don't think this thing works. But in the passive income you're always happy because you have a team. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you you you're thinking about quitting. Always always stressed out. Man, I need to go and do this, I need to go and do that. In here, you think about what? I mean, you're always happy. You always have a team that's working, that's producing. Constantly building, building developing. You're yeah. building, building people. This is big contract people. Big sale. Big contract. This is big what? Big team. Big override. You don't think about your contract. You think about big override. Let me give you this. Who thinks more about uh, promoting people? Builders. They think about promoting the people. I don't say in here promoting mm -hmm. myself because in here if you don't promote people, you don't go to the next level. But this is thinking promoting people. They're thinking selfish. They're thinking yeah. big yeah. sale. Mm -hmm. Or big sale. Oh, big sale versus promoting, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. What else? Passive is selfless. Selfless. This is selfish, right? What else? What other mindset that somebody who thinks passive income have? Their vision's big. Vision. Bigger, bigger picture, bigger vision. What else? Always Talk to me about discipline now. Things that you do on a daily basis. Predictable. Oh, prospecting. You always want to prospect, you want to recruit. So you're thinking recruiting mindset? Yeah. What else? Discipline daily. What's the thing? When you see somebody, how do you, you see him? No, now no, don't think mindset, think outside. How does a person perform, how does a person do that thing is passive income versus somebody who's personal income? What do they do different? Preparation. They, they prepare because they need to train, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Two minutes. They set an example. Explain to me that one. Uh, Give me a, a, a how does somebody, because this person set an example to write a business, right? Uh, I mean in showing up and being punctual. Being punctual, yeah. Because it's, it's, you're thinking about, like, like you, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I try to call myself out, but I didn't. No, but let me tell you one thing. It's uh, good that you call out, but you don't call out too much. You don't call yourself out too much. You know why? What if you have 20 people over here in your team? Yes. What time would you be here? And you have to train them. I mean, if the meeting is start at 8.30, what time are you here? If you have 20 people in here, the first 20 row, the first 20 people are here, and you're the one training, Jessica. 30 minutes before. <clears throat> I mean, would you be ready? Yes. So you're thinking more, how do you, so discipline, right? Who's more disciplined? This has to be disciplined. Guys, guys, I was Saturday. I had to be here at 6.30, okay? Then I'm gonna tell you this in privacy to you guys. You know what time I woke up on Saturday? So, my phone is acting up. So my, my no, my, my phone is not acting up. My, my charger is not working. Mm -hmm. I need to get a new charger. So, and I didn't know that. I find out on a Saturday morning that it didn't charge, so it died. It died. Okay, and I don't know how, but the, but the, <laughs> I don't know God. how. Okay, I woke up. I saw the alarm six fourteen. I know I did an alarm. I saw this. I the wake up. Says this is what time is it? She says, and she look at the phone six fourteen. What time I have to be here? Six thirty. Yes, if you know me. <laughs> You're lucky. No, if you know me, I cannot get out of my home if I don't take a shower. 
that's something that I have since I was a kid, okay? You know, my, my OCDs and stuff like that. I cannot get out of home if I don't take a shower. And I have to be here at 6.30. So I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> I jump out of the bed and I put the freaking shower. It was so cold. <laughs> oh God, because it, it's cold, but I had to. So see, why don't you just take it, like, go leave? It's not like I, I went exercising in, in the last night or anything like that, sweating nothing. So I say, go. And I put the, the shower, it was so cold, my gosh. Until now, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of it, took a shower, and then uh, I left, I left, literally, I, I dressed like in one minute, dress, I'm really dressed super fast, grab a protein shake, I was here at 6.28. But why is that important to me? Because I'm thinking what? If I want the passive income, guys, if I want the personal income, it doesn't matter if I show up for not. You would have stayed home. Of course. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't even come to BOM. <laughs> Why would I come to BOM? Why would I come to BOM? Guys, there is no reason, guys. For this, if you're thinking this, you don't have to come to manager's meeting. You know that. Nobody here have to do anything. Samantha doesn't have to drive to come from the woodlands to come over here. But, the, but she comes because she's thinking what? I want everybody to think this. If you think like this, your life is completely different. This is day and night. Mm -hmm. And mine is different, is super different. Because you're thinking team. And by the way, where do you make more money? Yeah. Where do you have freedom? Yeah. Guys, I don't mind getting freedom. Some of you guys feel bad by having freedom. That, that's another mindset if you want, to, uh, for, for, want me to give it to you. So when you guys feel bad, I don't feel bad. You know why I put the effort? I don't feel bad about overriding you at all. And I show you this stuff. I don't mind showing you that. I don't, do you think I feel bad? No. I would feel bad if I wouldn't work. But I put the effort. So because I put the effort, I say, guys, I push hard. Makes sense. Personal income people, they have an issue with this. Sometimes they feel, like, that would be wrong to get paid, man. Man, I didn't do, you know, I don't know. You said no, because you're putting the effort. So is this making sense? Yes. Okay, anything else, and I'm forgetting, before I give you the three things, yes. Oh my gosh, where do you duplicate? Every time. Let me give you this idea if you want to duplicate. Every time you do something, have somebody next to you. Asan, you're going to do an interview, right? Mm -hmm. Don't ever do an interview by yourself anymore. How far they next to you? Samantha, you're really good in sales. I don't think that. You have the record in sales. Have always somebody next to you. Like, for example, look at the, how Terry has duplicated with you. Terry, you're running business out by yourself now? I heard that. Congratulations. Give it up for Terry. Oh. Terry's running business by herself? Beyond is running business by herself. Okay, both of them, because they have learned from her. Now, every time you're doing anything, Samantha, have somebody next to you. That's the fastest way to duplicate. Patrick Lee, have somebody next to you. If you're, if you, everything, if you're making a call, if you're submitting a policy, if you're so going to see a client, if you're gonna go prospecting, anything you're doing, do it with somebody next to you, if you want to duplicate. So I had a question, so for passive income, would like working as a team as far as like having one person, uh, if the one person wants to get like go and prospect, we'll have the other person call as soon as the numbers are sent. Uh, sent that would be great, yes. Would that be? Yeah, because it's all about the team. Yeah. It's about helping somebody on the team. This is all about the team. This concept, you grasp, guys, I grasp this concept. I wish I would have grasped it before. Guys, I, I was making to fifty, two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year on personal income. Now, then I make seven seven hundred, but most of it was also personal. The moment I, I cracked seven fifty, seven fifty, ninety percent of my income now is passive. passive. Wow. Ninety percent of my income. So around uh what? Six eighty, seven hundred? It's all passive. Why would I go to McAllen? Why do you think I would drive to McAllen six hours? Do you think, that, guys, let me put it, I don't go to McAllen or Brownsville to write a policy. I would never go drive six hours to write a policy. Why would I do that? 
But I go, if, I, if I'm building my past bingo, I will go on a lash. I will go tomorrow. I will go tomorrow again. Yes. I feel that the, the reason that we have an issue with like people like you know showing up and all of this is that people get comfortable. Of course. They get too comfortable where they're at. And By the way, this is easier. Because this only depends on what? Yeah. Which one is more difficult? It's more Possibly. difficult. Yeah, because you're dealing with people. Of course, you need to get out of your comfort zone. Of course. Now, now, okay, me as a leader, guess, guess what turned me on? That's, uh, no, that's correct. <laughs> you know, if, if I see people this round, it's a turn off for me. Like, a, a, you know, when you see a, I don't know, you go to a club, you go to a club, it's, nah, that was. Imagine this, you see this beautiful girl, the single guy. You do this beautiful girl, but her attitude is so bad. How horrible that turn off is. Everyone. Like, you know what I mean? Look at this girl that might be hot, might be beautiful, but she's just a... <laughs> <laughs> in, uh, in college, okay? There was this girl. I mean, you will see her from, uh, from, from far. Oh, that she's pretty. But every time she would talk to you, she will be like, um, I don't know, she was all these bad words. You know, I, we use all the guys in college, we use bad words, right? But this girl, this girl was like on top of it. Like more than, <laughs> more than like, and I don't know, she will, she will sound like a, I don't know, different. And that would be a turn off. All the guys were like, a, man, if you're gonna, uh, man, no. Imagine you're, you're dating this girl, she will curse you out and everything. <laughs> People didn't like that. No. And this other girl might be, she might be okay. She might not be the house girl. But she's nice, she's cool, she's get going. Guess what happened? The other girl was different. Now, what am I going with this? Why am I telling stories about high school, college? Why am I telling the stories? You guys distract me. Um, this is a turn up for me. Turn up. You want me to turn, turn up me? You want to turn me on? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but passing all the time. I want passing. I want to turn on pa Rodolfo. Passing. Talk to me about how many recruits you're gonna get. Talk to me about how many guests you're gonna have. Talk to me about like eh, 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 how many people you're talking. Tell me how many associates. You know, I like when Natalia and Karina. They always text me. They ju you guys are creating this uh, habit. They text me every time they have a. They text me their list of their associate. That's a good turn on for me. I like it. That's a turn on. So what, what do you learn today? I learned how to turn on Rodolfo. <laughs> okay, we're good? I know. I'm going to watch it. 